Great Bryson Gutches and Saslan Abanakov. Abanakov originally from Russia. Gutches from Medford, Oregon, as we get set for this match here right now. Gutches has the 76 inch reach and his opponent 66. So is that going to play a factor? Gutches at 2 0 has a decision and submission in his two wins. Submission by a rear naked choke for Abanakov. Four and one, three unanimous decisions and one TKO. You know, the fun part is that both these guys' last fight was in Mexico City. How, How about weird that? is that? And now they're fighting right, here. Guys, be ready, be ready. Jessica gets us started here in round one with Gutches and Abanakov. All right, gentlemen, here we go. Now bring it on, come on. Abanakov in the black shorts, Gutches in the white. I want to say Abanikov looks like the Russian. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> He's the guy that looks like the Russian. That's how you can figure it out. Let's see if Gudge's reach advantage is going to play a factor. Feeling out process here as it just gets underway in round one. The kick from Gudge's. Abanikov up against the cage. Oh, nice knee there over the arm of Abanakov. And he actually connected. Nice hip throw there. Beautifully done by Gutches. Gutches takes Abanakov down. Abanakov can throw him to the left now. If he grabs his hands together, really tight, climbs on top of him and throws him to the left. Not anymore now. It's going to be hard. Got a shot in there with the left hand. You gotta grab both hands again. You gotta watch out because you know Crutch is gonna try to push that foot underneath his the inside of his knee. Watch. And it's kind of a Kimura what he's doing then. Uh, sorry, Hammerlock. Gutch is going for the submission here early. That's why I always like to say figure four or reverse figure four. It's much easier to understand. Figure four, that's what he was going for. Watch back of the head there. With the watch back of the head. Welcome inside the Hard Rock Hotel here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the joint. It is Bryson Gutches in the white shorts, Saslan Abanakov in the black shorts. Round one, just under two minutes gone by. And Gutches getting a couple of shots in here on Abanakov. He did a great job, you know, he pushed himself all the way away from his opponents. We had a lot of space to hit because he's got long arms. And he knows it, and that's why he did that. He was also sitting in a high, a high mount, and it's very hard for an opponent to get somebody off who's in high mount. It's a featherweight bout here at 145 pounds, scheduled for three rounds of five minutes each. Gutches has Abanakov up against the cage. Nice takedown there. Body lock, boom, to the ground. Let's see what Gudge is going to do. If he's going to pull his right arm out, some people just like to sit here and go for ground and pound in half guard. Even look for a submission, maybe a Kimura. If a Bonikov makes a mistake. Two takedowns here early by Gutches going for a couple of punches there. Full mount position again. He sits again on his chest. A Bonikov, he's got to watch out. He's looking for an arm for the left arm of a Bonikov. It looked like. Abanikov needs to push him more to his belly, and then he starts bucking up. As soon as he gets hit, buck up your hips. There we go for the arm. You know, he was fishing for an armbar already with the other arm, and now he might have this on this one. Abanikov needs to explode. He needs to pull it out, and he did. Abanikov has been cut under the right eye. He's taking some shots here early in round one. Now trying to fight back with the right hand, gets a couple in on Gutches that time. Yeah, at this distance, Abanikov is more powerful with his punches because his reach is less. So he needs less distance in order to be effective than Gutches is. And it's a 10 inch reach. Uh, yeah. difference. It's, it's a lot. 76 for Gutches and 66 for Abanikov. Most of this first round being played on the mat. But shorter arms are always harder to submit as well, as we already found out. Looking for a Kimura or maybe even a sweep. You see, even if he doesn't get the Kimura, he might sweep him to the left. And that's for Gutches, his left. He tried it now, but Abanikov knows. He posts out with his right leg, as you can see. Still, he can do it. No, 
he should have brought his leg all the way down. But then again, you have the risk that uh, Abanagov is, is going to jump out of his guard. 40 seconds to go in round one. Although it's an open guard. Abanikov trying to get a shot in with the left yes, hand. Yes, nice. Ooh, Abanikov saw it and he fell out. He's a Russian guy. They got a lot of leg locks there. Sambo you knows looking for it. Oh, slipped out. Maybe if this would have happened earlier in the fight when they're not sweating yet, you know, he might pull one off. Gutches in the white shorts got a cut above his left eye as we near the end of round one. Let's go back to some of the highlights of the first round here, boss, and Abanikov, the Russian, and Gutches, the first five minutes, what'd you say? See, he pulled that right leg out, he knew he was gonna get tripped, and now he's trying to go here for an Achilles tendon pull, which is hard, very hard to pull off if you have your right foot in between the legs, you really need to cover the hip, you wanna keep your opponent close to you, because otherwise he can simply stand up. The first attempt was with his knee in between, the second attempt he actually put his foot over, but Gutches was really fast in escaping. That overhand, that windmill works perfect, okay? That was beautiful, you almost got him with that. His instinctual reaction. Ready for round two between Bryson Gutches and Saslan Abanakov. Abanakov in the black shorts, Gutches in the white. A couple of takedowns by Gutches in round one, boss. He probably took that fight, then again he got reversed, and then, you know, he did a little bit of ground about, ooh, nice uh, spinning back kick there to the head. Throws him over, why not? Just push, keep pushing, I would say. Let him go and push under, there you go, and then ground him on top, you <laughs> see? Great move by Gutches first to avoid the kick. Yep, dug right underneath. Yeah, no, you don't want to kick like that land on you. Completely reverses the circumstances here early in round two. Yeah, he said, uh, listen, man, I didn't like what you were doing. I'm going to do it back. But you know, he had quite a few times. He was sitting in round one as well in this position. So did a great job there as well. So round one definitely is going to go to Gutches. Oh, did he slip under? He can tell from here, but it looks like he did. No, not yet. Abanakov needs to push that elbow upwards with his palm. He needs to start pushing it up. Oh. Tap out, that's it. Very nicely done. And another rear naked choke. You said he had another choke right before in this fight? Yep. Good job. So Bryson Gutches goes to 3-0 and out with the rear naked choke. Two of the three that he's won by that way. Beautiful. And knocks out Saslan Abanakov here in this second round early. Yeah, very nicely done. So here's the difference, boss, early in round two. Missing on the kick, Abanakov. Yeah, Gudges just went for a takedown, dove under that. That hook seemed to land, I don't know. Now he's gonna push him over. He's gonna realize, wait a minute, might as well keep pushing. One, two, three, and push. And now he climbs on top, right away goes in, in the mount position, starts hitting from here. In order to protect himself, Abanikov, of course, is gonna turn on his belly. And that's exactly what Gutches wanted. Going to his go-to move, so to say. He only did it twice now in his career, but I, I bet you it is. A rear nick choke. And there's a tap out. So Gutch is 3-0. And, oh. and let's go inside the cage to Jazz Sakura for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a rear naked choke at one minute and seven seconds of round number two. Your winner and still undefeated, Bryson from BK. Curry had a couple of good early takedowns in the first round. Nice there's down. one of them. Beautiful hip throw right away, mount position, high mount. He did everything right. You know, created space, distance, so his punches had more power. And there is go to move as he said it. 
Very nice show. Very nice. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.